Sorry, I got. Sorry, I got cut off. All my little ghostlings. Um. Again, your discretion is advised. Let's have a look. My cat wants in. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel? How'd this happen? Um, car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Home. Nowhere. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? A police officer. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three right. sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. I didn't get your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. What happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. You don't know what those things can do. None of you do, not it even me. Like Manure. I'm not gonna Manure? say shit Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Just because I'm not gonna say that. Just My mom and dad. You probably say it. How far is Savannah? Pretty, Pretty far. far. Oh, okay. Because of a walker? Hey, get up. <sighs> what an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Dave sleep. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. Oh, that's cute. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. It is. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Oh. But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. Word is you were on your way to Macon. Well, family's still there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Um. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then, honey. Duck, this is Lee, and uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I get it. Hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay. I don't know about that though. You kill her. If you kill her, I will kill you. I don't want anything to happen to Clementine. She's so sweet. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. 
Unlike mine. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Mine's not too messy. Let's go to Duck and John. Talk to Duck. Speak. How are you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Okay. Sounds good. It's so peaceful. Something bad has to happen. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Oh, that's so cool. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You so don't cold. see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Well, I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? 